Um, yeah, I saw your message. No. Um, so what you're downloading? Okay, so you're downloading wireless from the camera to the iPad. Okay, I'll tell you one thing, I've never downloaded wireless video footage from a camera to uh, a, d a device. I've never done wireless. I've always transported through the memory cards. I've never done it wirelessly. That sounds quite interesting actually, I might try that. Have you ever done it uh, through the, just uh, having the memory card and transporting the, the files that way? Why can't you put it in the iPad? Oh, I see. Okay, the iPad doesn't take the... Okay, I get it. I understand. I'm sure there's a way, I just, uh, I mean there must be a way, to, but it, um, the iPad takes a card, doesn't it? Doesn't it take a micro? Uh, it doesn't. Okay, nothing at all. Wow, Apple man, what are they doing? That's crazy. So to put, to transport footage to your iPad, you have to basically do it through wireless. Man, oh I see, so like a USB, mini USB to, yeah, so mini to mini, because it doesn't take, uh, it doesn't take standard USB, does it? It takes mini, like what your phone takes. So yeah, that's the only way I could think, but it's worth trying. I'm not sure if that'll work, but it, it's one way it's, you could try it. Oh, you tried that? You tried that already? Oh, okay, okay. And will that go to your camera, the, the standard USB? No, it won't, will it? How about HDMI? Well, I mean, do you have to put it to an iPad? Can't you put it onto another device, like a, a desktop or a laptop? Because like, don't forget, when you're like, you know, when airdropping and like, you know, wireless fails, you've got to go old school, man. You've got to get those memory cards out and upload you know you got maybe go go to dropbox or we transfer and put it online that way and then get it and then go into your ipad and go into whatever site you've done you've dumped it on and get it off that way and then start editing it you know it's longer but you you get you get your result you you know it's a long way around to get where you want to get to it's all about the end result at the end of the day you made a laptop yeah any, any standard laptop you will have the port for usb you'll have the port for uh yeah, on the MacBook Pro, definitely you'll have the port to put the SD card, the SD card directly into the memory card slot. I'm not used to all this modern technology, I apologize. <laughs> um, if it hasn't got the port, uh, you can definitely put the US standard USB in there. And uh, from there, you can hook it up that way. You can put the standard USB in, and maybe if you've got an external um, SD card reader or memory card reader, you can um, do it that way. Gives you more options than an iPad, let's just say that, <laughs> you know? Or you can connect the camera directly to the MacBook. So I hear. <laughs> There's always options. I mean, we were doing this long before wireless and airdropping came along, so... You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you just have to go old school. I mean, I'm still getting together with all this technology stuff, man. I'm like way behind. I'm like in a stone age, so... I'm learning, I'm learning man, I'm learning. I'm still doing everything on VHS and like cassette tape and stuff so I have no idea all this digital stuff works, you know. Yeah, I'm still cutting, you know, in the editing room I'm still having to cut the, the film, you know, before I can put out any of these videos that I put online. I have to cut, cut the film like, you know, back in the old days. I'm still doing all that stuff. You so sound like you believe me right now. I'm actually joking, I just wanted to say. <laughs>